a lot of debate right now, uh, especially given the move we've seen uh, within yields and, and the steepening of the yield curve as of late about um, economic growth versus possibility of economic growth that triggers inflation. Just in terms of what you're seeing within your different um, segments of business right now, how would you how would you rate the economy and uh, and the recovery that's taking root? So the recovery is clearly uh, continuing. We thought it started the second half of last year. It's gaining momentum. The multiple stimulus packages, the vaccination program, which is is going extraordinarily well. I think it's opening up the economy in a very significant way. I I, I think this year's GDP growth will outperform what was expected just a couple of months ago. Now, with that, I also believe there's uh, low-end wage inflation. There's inflation in commodities. There's certainly, uh, on the lumber side, for example, the housing package for, for lumber is almost 2x what it was just six months ago. So there is inflation forming in different pockets. And uh, I think that will be a challenge at some point in this recovery for us. But I don't think so. I don't think it'll be that significant this year. Do you think the yield curve continues to steepen from here? I mean, I realize we had that Fed meeting last week uh, and a lot of back and forth, particularly in, in the market on, on the heels of that, um, about the dovish commentary we got from Powell versus a stronger economic forecast. Uh, how does that play out within the bond market? What does that mean for your company? Well, I think, I think rates will continue to move uh, up a bit, certainly in the medium and longer term. But I don't think this is a, a runaway scenario either. For us, that's positive. The slope of the curve really matters. And, and although short rates, overnight rates, are, are continue to be very, very low by historical standards, that slope is helpful to our industry and certainly to us at Huntington. Read about the other aspect of what the Fed did last week, which is uh, kind of lifting this regulatory relief about Fed mm -hmm. ownership of Treasuries, and and uh, you know perhaps it creates a challenge because there are so much uh, in the way of reserves in the banking system. You, banks like yours are being flooded by uh, by deposits and maybe struggling to find a place to put them. Does that affect you? And how do you think it's impacting the overall financial plumbing at this point? Well, I think. The, the, the industry is, is incredibly liquid. It's, I've never seen this in my 40-year career. And so there's a lot of excess deposits sitting at the Federal Reserve or in short instruments like treasuries. And, and, and we're talking you know, many hundreds of billions of dollars uh, for the system. As the economy continues to open up, however, I believe loan demand will, will increase. And with that, some of these excess reserves will get sucked up just to support expansion. For us, we're, we're in a, a manufacturing, the Midwest is a manufacturing zone. Manufacturers are doing well, by and large. Many are, if anything, supply chain constrained at the moment or labor constrained, which we hear universally. So there's a lot of opportunity in front of us, at least in that sector. And we had some great home building numbers today, and that would certainly be true uh, of our region as well. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.